Petrol prices remain high across India. The price is close to 100 rupees per litre in New Delhi, the nation's capital. The petrol hike has made citizens miserable as they find it difficult to afford essential commodities and transportation in their day-to-day -day lives. Honorable Prime Minister and the central government reduced the excise on petrol and diesel on two occasions. One in November of 2021 and second time in May of 2022. These soaring petrol prices remain high and keep rising despite India announcing that it's getting oil at cheaper prices from Russia. What is the current context of petrol prices in India? How is petrol price calculated in the first place? And will Indians see any respite at petrol pumps anytime soon? These are the core questions. Hello and welcome to The Core Questions. First, let's look at the current context of petrol prices in India. Prior to the pandemic in 2020, an owner of a two-wheeler was paying approximately 900 rupees for a full tank of fuel. Today, that cost is around 1,500 rupees. To make things worse, petrol prices in India have been on the rise in recent months. According to the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, the average retail price of petrol in India was 89 rupees per liter in February 2023. This is a 1 rupee increase from the previous year when the average retail price was 88 rupees per liter. But why is an increase happening in the first place? The factors driving this increase include a rise in international oil prices, fluctuations in the exchange rate between the Indian rupee and the US dollar, and changes in taxes and duties levied by the government. Refining costs also play a role in determining petrol prices. That's a lot of complicated terms at once. What do all of them mean and how is the price of petrol determined? The price of petrol in India is primarily determined by four factors. One, international oil prices. This refers to the price of crude oil, which is the primary component of petrol. The price of crude oil is influenced by global supply and demand, geopolitical tensions like the Russia-Ukraine conflict, and changes in the market due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Two, the exchange rate between the Indian rupee and the US dollar also affects the price of petrol in India as oil is priced in US dollars. At present, a weaker rupee is increasing the cost of importing oil into India, leading to higher petrol prices. Let me give you an example. Suppose you go to the mall and spend 5,000 rupees on shopping. Your total expense for the day is not just 5,000 rupees. Keep in mind your Uber also costs you 200 rupees to get to the mall and to come back home. Therefore, in actuality, your total expenditure for the day was 5,400 rupees. Three, refining costs also play a role in determining gasoline prices. The cost of refining crude oil into gasoline can be impacted by changes in the cost of raw materials, labor, and energy. Four, taxes levied by the Indian government also have a significant impact on the retail price of gasoline in India. Taxes and duties account for more than 50% of the retail price of gasoline in the country. This means that if your petrol bill is 1,000 rupees, over 500 rupees are because of taxes and duties. Why such high taxes in India? It's easy to blame the government for not reducing the tax on petrol. In fact, those who are criticizing the current government seem to forget the fact that during the previous UPA government, which was in power from 2004 to 2014, taxes on petroleum were high and the UPA government raised the tax not once, but several times to help meet its fiscal targets. The reality is that no matter who is in power in India, the petrol prices would be high because the price of crude oil is also significantly high at the moment. And also because the decision to reduce taxes on gasoline, including petrol, is a complex one that requires careful consideration of several factors. For starters, the Indian government collects taxes on gasoline to generate revenue that's used to fund various public services and infrastructure projects. The current Modi government has made infrastructure development a top priority and has invested hundreds of billions of dollars to finally get much needed modern infrastructure into India. One example is the Sagarmala project, which focuses on port led development. This is estimated to cost over 120 billion US dollars. Government of India's commitment to port-led development can be seen through the Sagar Mala scheme. About 575 projects 
एट अ टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ अवर सिक्स लैख करोड़ रुपीज The Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, which aims to connect all unconnected habitations in rural areas with all-weather roads, is another large infrastructure project that has been undertaken by the government and is estimated to cost several billion dollars. This is where the heavy tax we pay on petrol is going. Additionally, in recent years, the Indian government has faced rising fiscal deficits, which have put pressure on public finances. The COVID-19 pandemic has also made it difficult to reduce taxes on. Patrol, as the government may rely on this source of revenue to meet its financial obligations. Ultimately, the Indian government will have to weigh these considerations and make a decision that is in the best interests of the country and its citizens. Is there any relief in sight for Indians at petrol pumps? Despite getting some cheap oil from Russia, it's the high taxes, refining costs, exchange rate, distribution, transportation costs, and government subsidies that contribute to high petrol prices in India. And it's not just India that is facing high petrol prices. America's price of gasoline is calculated in the same way as is in India. According to the US Energy Information Administration, the average retail price of gasoline in the United States was $3.02 per gallon on February 10th, 2023. Also similar to India in Europe, taxes play a major role in determining gasoline prices. The European Union has a harmonized tax system for gasoline, meaning that the tax rate is similar across all member countries. However, each country also has its own national tax rate which can impact the overall price of gasoline. In Germany for example the average retail price of gasoline was 1.64 euros per liter as of February 2023. In China the price of gasoline is set by the government and can change depending on changes in international oil prices as well. The price of petrol in China is influenced by the same factors as India including international oil prices, taxes, refining costs and the exchange rate between the Chinese yuan and other currencies. According to the National Bureau of Statistics of China, the average retail price of gasoline in China was 7 yuan per liter. At this point, even if the tax is taken out completely, gas prices will still be relatively high as compared to 2020 in India. Put simply, it is unrealistic to expect dramatically lower petrol prices in the near future. The silver lining though is that in recent years India has been exploring domestic oil production with oil fields located in the states of Assam, Gujarat and offshore in the Bay of Bengal. This could be a promising start to lessen our dependence on international oil which would make India less vulnerable to the volatile price fluctuations we are experiencing right now. What can be said for sure is that as the Russia-Ukraine crisis becomes less hot-blooded, as the global economy stabilizes, as does international crude prices and the COVID-19 pandemic reaches an end, the oil market will become less volatile as a result. Disruptions will decrease and then the price of petrol will decrease significantly. I want to know your thoughts on this, so leave your comments below. Be sure to like and share this video as well. Thanks for watching the core questions by the Times of India until next time this is Priyanka Deo signing off namaste